Recreational marijuana will soon be legal in New Jersey. So what will that look like and how much money could that bring in? Phil Andrews has the answers. Excuse the pun, but marijuana has huge growth potential, which is probably what New Jersey Governor Phil Murphy was thinking when he and his administration sent a referendum to Garden State voters back in November to legalize adult-use marijuana, a vote that passed by a two-to-one margin. So, what's next? I always think the devil's in the details. Where is it sold? Who's it sold to? Uh, how do you deal with driving under the influence? You know, how do you tax it? Whether people can grow it at home? The details are going to be difficult, I think, for the administration to work out. Now, you heard Assemblyman Bramick mention in-home growing of cannabis, which at the moment is a no-no in New Jersey. In this state, especially the penalties for growing your own are disproportionate to the crime and many medical marijuana patients through the years have been arrested and thrown in prison for years for growing their own um, because they they couldn't afford it or or have an accessible reliable source of cannabis and i don't think that's what people had in mind when they voted for legalization so for now those who use medical marijuana can continue to purchase their items at dispensaries here in the garden state like cura leaf here in belmar and for those of you who voted for the legalization of adult use marijuana well it may be a while before you can actually purchase your goods here in the garden state the folks that are already licensed to do medical i think they'll they'll be the first to be able to sell to adults generally and then uh, it'll take a little more time to open up more stores but i think Right away, you'll, you'll have all of the folks that already have medicinal licenses get licenses to sell to the adult population, which that'll be a lot faster, right? Because it takes a while to, to get approved and then to get a store built and to get a grow. I mean, all this stuff takes time. It will take about six or seven months for the regulations to be written. So you can't walk into a dispensary in New Jersey today without a medical card, which you can get from your, from your doctor. Uh, but uh, as a full recreational card, you, uh, non-card holder, uh, that'll probably take till around June. Jason Ackerman is the CEO of Terrasend, a Canadian-based cannabis company that just recently harvested 2,000 pounds of marijuana at its 37,000-square-foot greenhouse in Boonton, New Jersey. Now, Terrasend is one of 13 medical marijuana dispensaries licensed to cater to New Jersey residents. But Hoffman says the number of dispensaries currently licensed to do business in the Garden State might not be enough to meet the demand. I think once you open that up to a larger customer base, um, it's very likely that the current 13 won't be able to keep up with both patient demand and adult use demand. Of course, the other concern is that the proposed 6.625% sales tax and 2% municipal tax on recreational marijuana could drive New Jerseyans elsewhere to purchase their goods. If the taxes are too high, uh, you're not going to suppress uh, the illicit market. You're going to have people, you know, people like to do what's easiest. And um, if the taxes are too high, uh, you're not going to have people beating down the door of the dispensary. By the way, the legalization of the industry could create up to 43,000 jobs in sales, production, and other services across the state. For Jersey Matters, I'm Phil Andrews. All right, thank you, Phil. When we come back, my commentary on the attack on the Capitol building. That's next.